you remember that war that they were having that they were saying they weren't having? That Vietnam War? <laughs> you know, in the U.S. You know, for a couple of years there, it's saying, no, there's no war in Vietnam, you hippies are crazy. And I was one of those hippies. And uh, I just, I was traveling, I, you know, I was doing concerts and things, and I was going from Mexico on the way to Toronto, and I spent the night in San Francisco airport, and in the middle of the night, here came these military medics in uniform, wheeling, you know, wounded soldiers on gurneys and wheelchairs, and I got to talking to them, and they said, oh yeah, there's a war. And we talked about it. And I just got to thinking by myself that night, who is it who's actually responsible for war? Is it these poor, you know, enlisted guys who probably signed up to see the world, or patriotic reasons, or family traditions, or something? And I said, well, yeah, they have a responsibility. And then I got to thinking about career military officers who spend their whole adult lives learning how to make war better. And do you know that in North America, I don't know how it is in Europe, but in North America, there are five huge, heavily funded colleges of war, and there are no colleges dedicated to alternative conflict resolution that are even taken seriously at all. Yes. So that's not <laughs> It's really easy to learn how to make war, and it's not as easy to celebrate alternative conflict resolution and peace. And if there are a hundred people in the, world, in the room, and two start a fight, what's going to make the paper is the two that make the fight. So don't ever forget about the rest of us who are making peace every day in our lives. So then I got to keep going about actually starts the war and oh now I thought I had it I was going to blame the politicians and then I got to thinking oh well who is it who votes for the politicians you know so this is a song about all of us about individual responsibility for the world that we live in it's called universal soldier Oh, yeah. 